Hello Brewtubers, it has been a while. Um, yes, I have been absent for a few months. Um, there has been a sincere lack of brewing going on for a long while and um, it's probably going to be a month or two before I do any brewing again. Um, started a new job in March at the Chiltern Open Air Museum and uh, absolutely loving it there. Um, well, they say if you love your job you never work a day in your life. It's sort of that situation at the moment so um, personally for me things are going really well but um, the brewing has been sidelined a bit because I just haven't had the time um, to do anything. Um, I'm also in the middle of an upgrade and uh, that is taking um, a lot of time. I uh, started that today really. Um, it's a top to tail or head to toe or top to bottom, whatever it's called, um, <laughs> clean up in the brew shed. Um, so that's today and tomorrow, which are my only two days off. So um, yes, pretty much clearing everything out, giving all the surfaces a good wipe, uh, getting rid of all the surplus crap I've got, of which there is a lot. I mean, I've got sponges on sticks and weird fittings and fixtures, which I've never used, still in their packets and um, a lot of sugar in sachets and you know ingredients which I haven't used and yes there's a lot of lot of rubbish so um, today's bin day um, and the recycling bin bin is full to the brim the bin is full to the brim um, I got rid of about ooh, 40 empty bottles um, they've just been sitting around for so long they're dusty and dirty and it's gonna be too much effort to clean them and I'm trying to move more into kick and casking. Um, so I'm getting rid, we're getting rid of all my, my empty bottles. But yes, whilst I was looking at empty bottles, I found a load of full bottles. So I think I found 60 bottles of unopened beer, none of which have labels. So it's all a mystery. So today, um, as well as a little update, I'll be doing a mystery beer drinking video. How exciting. So I've picked four random ones. Um, I have a gusher jug just in case and a pint glass so the first one has been outside in a swig top I genuinely don't know what this is so let's crack it open and find out that was a big bang And it's now kicked up. Can you see through it? Mm, no, let's have a look. Well, it's a good colour to it, actually. It's a nice, I'm not sure how well we can see it. Uh, there you go. It's only got a very good colour to it. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Generally, I, I don't have a clue. I have a feeling that one or two of these might be the English IPA. Um, but yeah, all these beers are a mystery. So yes, as I said, I found them in my big clean-up today. So yeah, I've emptied the shed. Uh, it's half of the uh, contents of the shed are on the grass and will stay there overnight. Um, Anything which could get damaged by rain, I think electrical or cardboard or ingredients have been put back in, but um, yeah, kegs and cars I've left out. So um, yeah, big old tidy up will be occurring over the next two days. As I said, the, short, the storage shed is next. Empty that out, get rid of the crap, and then keep the stuff I'm gonna use. Um, I'll also be looking to replace uh, my fermenters. Um, and the chili unit so that is work in progress uh, I've got to actually speak to the person who's selling them and get that set up but that's another story so yes let's have a dive in see what this tastes like on the nose got quite a fruity fruity aroma and a bit of um, toasted malty sort of nose. Mm. I think this is one of my best bitter attempts. 
um, back when I was um, sort of going commercial for the first time, I um, trialled about three or four different best bitter recipes, all of which now are, none of them are going to be used. And I have a feeling this is one of them actually. It didn't really turn out like a best bitter, it turned out more like a, um, a ruby ale, like um, a hobgoblin. It's got that sort of more multi character um, and not quite so bitter as it should be. Um, not quite what I wanted in the best bit. I mean, it's, a very, it's actually quite pretty good. I'm enjoying this. So you've got a lot of sort of um, toffee caramel notes. Actually, quite surprised at that. I thought these were all going to be chuck awayers, but um, this one's actually quite enjoyable. So I will finish this. Best bitter, I'm sure that's what it is. I don't know if I'll get any more out of the bottle because I think it's probably knocked up all the sediment and crap from the bottom. But I'll finish the, the clear beer I've got and see all the colour and the clarity in there. I'll finish the clear bit and then see if there's any more clear beer left, but I imagine I'll have to throw the rest of the bottle away, but, oh well. <laughs> I've got more than I was expecting anyway. So we were very lucky with the first one. Had a good sort of chocolatey maltiness to it. Uh, let's see what the second one's like. I think this looks like a pale ale of some sort, so. Sort of like a golden amber colour. Is a bit of sediment in there. Hmm. It's probably kicked up a load of crap. Very highly carbonated, but seeing as these all beers have been abandoned. Oh well. Not gonna get any more out of that bottle. Now I've thrown it away, but never mind. Um, yes, we're seeing these have been abandoned for a couple of years probably. It's hardly surprising that they're a bit highly carbonated. It smells old. <laughs> Let's dive in. I have a feeling this might be something like the English IPA, but... That's all right as well. What a shame I've got bloody half of it in here. Um, a slight caramelly butteriness. And a pretty solid hoppy bitteriness as well. Um, a slightly floral. Yeah, sort of a floral, slightly earthy bitterness, I suppose. Hmm. Surprisingly pleasant. I don't know what that is though. I thought it might have been the IPA, but it could be. Possibly. I finished it. I think the rest of it's perhaps a bit too hazy, but hmm. That's tasty that. Let's see if I can pour any in here. See what it looks like. Mm. 
Yeah, it's also a bit hazy now. Tastes, <coughs> tastes quite strong as well. I wonder if this is the IPA. Hmm, I'm not sure, but yeah, as I say, a good, nice, sort of sweet, buttery, caramelly maltiness. And a good, sort of well rounded bit of finish. Hmm, pretty good. Pretty good. So, on to the third and final beer. Again, this looks like a pale ale of some description. Um, I, well, I did have another beer, but I think this one's the same as the one I just had. Um, yeah, let's see what this one is. I think this is probably the least lively of the three. I've been able to pour a fair amount of it into the glass. In fact, it does look the same colour as the one I've just had. And same sort of smell on the nose. Hmm. Curious. We shall soon see. And I've got my Peter mix, which is um, some of the roasted sweet corn bits and um, dried peas mixed together. I quite enjoy it, hence why I call it Peter mix. You buy the sweet corn and the peas separate. There's a couple of little peanuts in there as well, but it's like Bombay mix, but for wimps who can't handle their spice. Very tasty, nevertheless. I enjoy it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Smells like old beer still. It tastes very fizzy. Yeah, that's the same beer, I think. Yeah, it's the same beer. Hmm, oh, very nice. Well, there you go, then. Uh, the mystery beers. So, yeah, first one's the best bitter, which is probably the best of the lot. And then the next two have been, um, hmm, possibly my Green Dragon IPA or English IPA. Something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's quite strong because I'm starting to slur. Um, so yes, it's just about to tip it down, I think. It's got that sort of stormy feeling in the air. Oh, it's quite highly carbonated. I need to have a little, a little bit of a discharge. Um, quite a bit, a big discharge actually. Um, so, yes, um, what was I saying? This is just about to rain, um, so uh, another dry day forecast for tomorrow. Um, so I will carry on with my cleaning. Um, and yes, what job do we need to do? So with the, the new brewing system, I need to install a winch system so I can lift the grain basket out. And I'm looking at two new fermenters and a new chiller, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I will update you once, once everything's put back in order. Um, but uh, yes, that's probably a little while away. I'll probably do a couple of more mystery beer drinking videos, seeing as I have a lot of mystery beer to drink. Um, it just goes to show you really ought to label your bottles once you bottle them and not forget about them, as I have done. But yeah, I mean, these are probably two or three years old. So um, perhaps even more actually. So, uh, uh, well, nothing lost, nothing ventured, nothing gained, nothing happening, nothing more being said because I've run out of words. Um, yes, anyway, as you can tell, that beer was probably a little bit strong because uh, it's just starting to fall into a mess of drunken babble on which note I will say adieu and I'm going to go and have a gin and tonic now because it's probably a lot tastier than what I've had I mean these beers are passable but they're not great 
but they're not bad either. So I'd rather have a GNT to be honest. Um, it's one of those sort of nights. Thank you for watching. I won't say I'll see you again soon, but I will see you again, I'm sure. Cheery bye.